Tomorrow it is election day and you can vote in person or by dropping off your ballot at one of the several ballot drop off locations. It's too late to mail it in. Some school districts though in our area are asking voters for money this election. News 5's Allison Zimmerman is breaking down those issues. In El Paso County, both school districts 20 and 49 are going to voters for a mill levy override to try and get more money. That means property taxes would be going up. In part, they'll be using these funds to try and increase starting salaries for teachers to compete with other districts in the area. Let's get into it. In Academy District 20, the mill levy override is asking voters to generate $35 million over the course of the next three years. The district says the money would go towards salary increases for teachers and staff, ensure that each elementary school has its own security officer, fund upkeep of schools and facilities, as well as give money to charter schools. Here's how much it could cost you. For 2024, homeowners who live in a $500,000 home in D20, it's about $12 a month. In 2025, that goes up to about $22 a month, and in 2026, about $30 a month. In District 49, the focus is on giving raises to teachers for the next seven years. A 7% raise each year. This increase averages out to about $20 a month for a $450,000 home. The district argues its starting salary is lower compared to other districts in the area, and that's why it needs this increase. There's another variable here with these property tax questions. Proposition HH, which is also on the ballot. That could impact the assessed value of homes, which could mean less money coming in from these mill levy overrides. We have a breakdown of Proposition HH as well as these questions on our website, koaa.com. In studio, Allison Zimmerman, News 5.